Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to show you how I made this super easy to do, super quick, hot Barbie pink and a glittery gel polish design. These are my natural nails, so if you want to know how I made these, please keep on watching. Again, I have used some glitters from my own personal collection. If you want to know what kind of glitters I own, do check out my nail art collection and storage video um, in which you can see all of the items that I actually own and use for my own nails. So first up, you want to start off with clean nails and prep them, just buffing up a little bit to get rid of the natural shine and removing all of the dust and oils from the nail. Then I am going in with my soak on of base gel all of the gel polishes used in this um, design or video or tutorial however you want to call it are by madame glam madame glam is actually kind of my favorite brand they are super uh, pigmented they are easy to get off of the nail afterwards and they're just totally vegan animal cruelty free uh, nine free so they are really safe to use and just really gorgeous in my opinion but for this design, I'm going to use Barbie Girl. This is one of my favorite colors of Madame Glam. It is insane. It has been a little while since I recorded this video. I think it's like four weeks ago or something, but life got in the way. I had some stuff I had to deal with, like personally work related and all that jazz. So that is why it took me like a month to actually edit this and record the voiceover and upload it. So sorry about that. Um, that is also the reason why my uh, nail on my thumb is still a little bit short because now it is like a lot longer because we're four weeks later but when i recorded it it was still quite short but first up you want to go in with two layers of your gorgeous barbie pink color it really is one of my favorite pink shades and as i said madame glam is just a really great brand all of the colors are really self-leveling as well, so you don't have to be a pro applying it. Um, because I am wearing these gel polishes on my right hand, so I have to apply them with my non-dominant hand. But it really works wonders. It's a really nice brand, great colors, great pigmentation. I just can't stop rambling about it because I love the brand so much. Then with a fluffy brush, I'm going to add some finely milled holographic glitters. These are by Catrice by a limited edition from like a few months ago or a year ago. Then I'm also going in with some other glitters. These are just, I think I got them from eBay or something, but it's just a pink and greenish kind of shifting glitter. Then I also have some really um, translucent kind of pink glitters. Again, a little bit of that greenish like duochrome effect to it. I just wanted to apply a couple of those, uh, not too many, but because my thumbnail is a little bit shorter than the others, this one will contain a little bit more glitter compared to the other four nails, because I actually wanted to um, like put all the glitters mostly towards the cuticle area, but because this is a smaller nail, um, it has a little bit more glitter just to tie in the entire design. Then after you have placed all of your glitters, you want to go in with your top coat. I'm just using the regular soak off top gel by Madame Glam as well. There is a sticky layer afterwards, so you do have to get rid of that. Um, I get asked a lot how I get rid of that sticky layer. Uh, I just simply use some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad and just wipe it off. It's as easy as that. So I always have like the 96%, but you can easily use use like the 70% uh, rubbing alcohol as well or the 100%. It's totally up to you. Uh, not every country sells like the 96 or the 100% alcohol. So just go with whatever is available for you. Then for the other four nails, I have already applied the base coat off camera and cured that for half a minute. By the way, all of the gels by Madame Glam um, are cured in half a minute, in, uh, minute, half a minute in LED or a full minute in UV. I only have an LED light, so I'm pretty fast with just half a minute of curing time per layer. So yeah, you just want to apply your color to all four of your fingers. 
layers and cure that before you go in with the second layer. And of course, you do want to cap off your edges as well. I totally forgot to do so with this first layer. So I will be doing that with the second layer. It is totally up to you if you feel like I want to do it in the first layer or the second. But I highly recommend you do cap in the edges and the sidewalls. Just to make sure that your manicure lasts a long time. And the gel polish won't pull up away from the edge of the nail once it is cured. So yeah, just make sure to get rid of any excess around the cuticle area as well. You don't want to have any gel polishes on the skin or the cuticle before you go into your LED or UV light to cure it because that might hurt and burn and you just don't want that. So just get rid of that with your fingernail or even an orange wood stick or something like that. You could also use a cleanup brush with a little bit of acetone or rubbing alcohol. It all works fine. So here I just cured the first layer, as you can see, um, here you can really see on the middle finger the effect of not capping in the edge of the nail. So you can actually see that because of the uh, curing, the gel like kind of pulled back a little bit. So that is why I would personally recommend to just cap in the edges on the first layer, but doing so on the second one isn't a big issue either. Um, I usually do it on the first layer, but I totally forgot to do it for this design. Like, as I said, I've had some work issues, some personal issues I really had to um, battle my way through. So that's why I wasn't really like there when I made this design, like, um, mentally, if you can say it like that, I had like a lot of things on my mind. So that's why if I am like a little bit rambly in previous videos as well, that is just because I had a lot of stuff to deal with. So yeah, I think you guys will totally understand that if there is a lot going on in your life, sometimes you don't have perfect focus on everything you do, but you guys know. <laughs> I try to do my best and I'm just really glad that even though I had like two really rough months, I was still able to make videos and upload and all that jazz. And I really hope you can appreciate that as well as much as I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me on my channel. I really love you so, so much and I'm just so grateful for every single one of you that watches my videos, uh, says hi in like the live chats and stuff like that. I, it's just really fun and I see you guys as like my family and my friends so yeah don't be scared to say hi during a premiere or something like that or just leave uh, something in the comments down below I read every single one of your comments and try to reply to every single one of them as well as soon as I'm able to so yeah, back to the design. I just added um, the really finely milled holographic glitter to all of the other nails, like just a little bit on a fluffy makeup brush, just um, push it into the sticky layer of the top of, or, or of the gel polish, I have to say. We didn't top coat yet. Easy, Femke, easy. <laughs> but uh, you just want to apply your glitters. I focused mostly around the cuticle area, but of course you can flip it around and just apply all of the glitter on the tips towards the middle of the nail. It is totally up to you. I just really like doing... Uh, reversed like ombre or french or however you want to call that i really like the effect it gives of like um some kind of how do you call that again like waterfall kind of effect from the cuticle towards the tip of the nail i just really like the way that looks so you just want to apply all of your glitter so i added three different ones in total again i don't have any links or anything like that to the glitters but if you go on aliexpress i know that the born pretty um official store also has a ton of glitters and if you want to go on ebay just search on cosmetic glitters so yeah after you have applied all of your glitters just go in with your top coat again cure it and get rid of the sticky layer and to finish off this design i just wanted to add a nice amount of cuticle oil because um soaking off gel polishes i use like pure acetone for that is really dehydrating for the skin so you just want to give it a little bit more like nourishment and a little bit more pizzazz back you know you don't want to have like dry cuticles everywhere that's not a pretty 
many sites. But yeah, that was already the entire design. Let me know what you think if you want to recreate it. Of course, you can do this with every single color. I'm just really in love with this Barbie pink or Barbie girl color. I can't remember the name. I always like kind of mess it up in my mind. But yeah, um, all gel polishes used are by Madame Glam and all glitters are reversible as well if you want to do any other colors but thank you so so much for watching i really hope you liked it if you have any questions or comments let me know in the comments down below and yeah i hope to see you in my next video